Welcome everyone to a review of the tarot of gemstones and crystals. I am going to do a flip through of this tarot deck. However, before I start, I just want to clarify the difference between the two editions. So on the left here, I have um, the first edition of the deck, which was published in 1996. And on the right, I've got the second edition. Uh, this was published in 2018. Okay, they're both uh, printed by the same company, AGM, um, AG Mueller, AGM. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, AG Mueller, and they are both printed in Belgium. Okay, now. As you can see, the card backs, uh, they changed the card backs with the second edition and they also changed the size of the deck. So the second edition from 2018 is quite a bit smaller. Now, normally I prefer that because I have um, smaller hands. However, I have to say that my personal recommendation is to go with the first edition. At present, so I'm filming this in February 2022, um, the first edition has long been out of print and will command higher prices. And I, from memory, a couple of years ago, I got this deck um, for around $80, I think, second hand. So it was uh, a used deck, but in, in good condition. Whereas the second edition, which is still in print, from 2018 um, you know I bought this um, only last month and it cost me I think I paid $25 for the tarot deck and um, $10 for shipping so before um, I start the flip through which I will do based on the first edition I just want to give you an idea of the differences between the two if in case you're wondering you know, is it worthwhile to spend extra coin and get the first edition? And my answer to that is absolutely yes, because, you know, this is a deck that looks at um, crystals and gemstones. So the bigger size makes it, uh, makes it more clear, in my opinion, but also makes uh, the subject matter stand out so much more clearer and brighter and, and nicer. Uh, that's in my opinion. So, if we look at the full, you know, they introduce these really big, um, heavy borders in black, and I think um, that's not complementing the um, images at all. You know, unless you really like um, darker themed decks, uh, maybe that might be your thing, but really, I certainly prefer the first edition much more, okay? So, um, that's an example of the fool. Okay, let's have a look at the magician. I feel like with the first edition, you can um, just take, get so much more clarity on the crystals themselves, and they're a lot. Um, it's just a lot nicer. It's more visually appealing, at least to me. Uh, I really don't like that they've shrunk the cards with the second edition and also that they introduce this really heavy border. Okay, and finally, comparing um, the High Priestess, which was given a Venturine, I think that the um, quality and the sharpness of the photography comes through much better in the first edition. Alright. And here is the Empress. And there's a slight, a very minor color variation, but it is noticeable. Okay, and here is the Emperor. Okay, so now that's out of the way, I'm going to put the second edition um, aside and we'll start the flip through for the deck and I'll start from the beginning 